Hello, James. Hey, beautiful. <laughs> and so nice to finally meet you. <laughs> um, no, I had uh, two questions. Um, season five of Angel is my absolute favorite of either show. And I was wondering what your favorite Spike and Angel moment was. And also, have you had any time to enjoy the beautiful city of Chicago and what you thought about it? Right on. Um, I have enjoyed, I enjoyed the city of Chicago in the mid to late 80s. I lived here for six years. And thank you for your question because I get to kind of clarify something that has been on the boards. <laughs> we planned this the other night. Um, I offended some people from Chicago, apparently, because I was talking uh, about the difference between Toronto and Chicago, and I said Toronto is a lot like Chicago, but the people in Toronto are better red. Okay? Now, what I meant was, in general, Canadians are better red than Americans across the board, and that I will hold to. Maggie's like, okay! <laughs> but it's really true. It's really true. Uh, What's that? Well, I'm sure they read books over there. <laughs> you have Northwestern up in Edmonton. I know, I know, but I was not, I was not intentionally signaling, as, uh, 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 I wasn't intentionally saying anything bad about Chicago. I was just trying to say that Canadians are better read. Now, what I will say about Chicago that I absolutely love is the theater here. Oh, yeah. The theater here is the best in America by a mile. I love it when Steppenwolf goes to, to Broadway and shows them how to do it. Um, the thing is, is that, that uh, Chicago knows it too. Like everywhere else that's not New York, you hear, because I've done regional theater all over the country, and you always hear this horrible thing. Our show is just as good as the one, the one in, uh, uh, off Broadway. I heard someone told me it was just as good as the Broadway show, and I got so sick of that. You never hear that here. It, here it's just like Broadway. <laughs> They're a bunch of sellouts. Man. They, it, it, Chicago literally has the ballsiest, most honest live theater on the continent. What was your spike um, oh, in You know, it was one that you didn't really hear. It was, uh, it was when Angel and I were arguing about the difference between astronauts and... <laughs> and it was the only time that Joss let me improv. And he said, I want this to go on in the background, so you guys just throw whatever you want. And I remember saying to Angel, look, you don't get it. The astronauts are very short. <laughs> you have to choose the small ones to, fill, to fit into the capsule. You're going to lose. I thought that was a good line. <laughs> No, there was no labbing in the middle of anything. If we got a comma wrong, we went back and picked it up. Seriously. You guys were brilliant. Thank you. Thank you.